Okay, hi, my name is Ahmad. My name is Mohamed Zaili. Uh, my name is Mohamed Iskandar. So we're gonna demonstrate on our project, which is called the ventilation. Plus buzzer, and LED, and also fan. First of all, I'm gonna introduce the material that we need to do our project itself. First of all, we need one fan, one LCD panel, two LED lights, uh, you need four resistors, one TMP and one BJT uh, transistor. You need a relay, 12 volt relay, uh, you need one diode and one Arduino and a one 9 volt battery. And of course you need one uh, CO sensor which is a, like a carbon dioxide sensor. So this is a this is a that you need. And one buzzer. You need a buzzer. You will need a LCD. The LCD will be connected to the Arduino itself. There will be a manual script for you to see to for the code uh, for the coding of the connections. From the Arduino, you have to link it up to the resistor. Two resistors yeah? for the to light up the LED light. <coughs> Which is here. Okay. Then you have your relay, your relay contact, which contains 12 volt inside. You will need to interlink with a diode on reverse bias. Uh, you have to link it up in the coil of the relay. This is to energize the 5 volt going in into the relay to power up the circuit. Uh, then you also have your temperature diode which uh, will be linking to your Arduino and your, you also have to remember your buzzer, your fan they will be inside the Arduino connection, inside the Arduino itself this is all we have, will be shown in the script itself on our own diagram connection, circuit diagram drawing uh, other than that the programming of the ventilation is as important as the connection itself Without the, without the program, without the program itself, without the programming itself, you can't power up the whole circuit. Okay. This is the program for the uh, ventilation. So first of all, you have to declare this uh, integer and floats for the uh, LED and stuff. Okay. So next up, you have to go to the box setup where the pin modes. Is and LCD mm, yes <laughs> okay so uh, moving on to the void loop we using the if loop and in this case uh, we put the temperature as both of the 30 degrees Celsius everything will start to go accordingly okay so my friend is kind of with the most I show you how to make the fan turn on, how to make the LED, red LED turn on because basically now the LED is green so means everything is fine, the temperature is not going to the expected uh, temperature Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to increase the temperature basically you place, place your hand on the temperature sensor Just rub on it Okay, so basically now uh, the temperature is beginning to rise to that uh, particular temp uh, value. So now you can you can hear the buzzer turning on, the ring turning on, and the fan turning on. You can feel the fan. So that's how you work on the temperature sensor. And now it's going off back. The temperature is back to normal value. You see that? So the LED is green color now. So now. So now my friend Ahmad will show you how to actually turn on the CO sensor. You're gonna burn the, the paper. Yeah. You're gonna place it next to the CO sensor to create the smoke. Okay, now the LED is still green. No buzzer yet. Fan is not turned on. And, and we have to wait for a while to, okay, to let the yes. smoke. Okay, now the buzzer turn on. Basically, they detect the smoke. Expected. So uh, the problem for example for me was that uh, we try to find try to find the solution for the um, the connection because just now the connection wasn't that good. And me and my friends have some uh, debating on the connection of the 
the circuit and therefore we try to actually manage to find the solution to that and basically it involves a lot of uh, wrong diagram, wrong wiring diagram and yeah, and now pass to Ahmad. Okay, what uh, problems I encountered was I was assigned to do the programming and a lot of times I did wrong because of the uh, wrong solution I get. So with the help of Mr. Lee, uh, we managed to make the program work. Yeah. The encounter was the connection of the circuit diagram itself. Uh, there is more than a dozen of wires, so apparently there will be a mistake where someone will actually place the connection wrong way. So we trace back our movement, we write on the paper, we try to solve the problem. And that was one of the major problems that we encountered as we all as a group, was the placement of the uh, electronics item on the report itself. So in the end of the day, we managed to solve it. Okay, so that's from us. Ahmad, Zul and Ganda. <laughs>